Hi, my name is Amy, and today I'm going to show you how to use the new Crossroads Mentor Portal. To set up your account on the Mentor Portal, you'll first need to check your email. You'll be receiving an email from Crossroads with Mentor Portal Invitation in the subject line that will look like this. The link in the email will take you to the Mentor Portal webpage to redeem your invitation. If you can't find the email in your inbox, don't forget to check your junk or spam mail folder. If you still can't find it, please call our office at 800 668 2450. Let's go ahead and click the link. As you can see, your personal invitation code will already be filled in. Since you're creating a new account, you don't want to check the box that says I have an existing account. You'll just need to click the blue register button. So let's go ahead and click register. And that will take you to a page where you can create your username and password. Choose your username and password, type in the information, click register, and then your account will be created. Make sure to write down your username and password in a safe place. You'll need to use them every time you log into the portal. But if you ever forget your password, you can use the forgot your password link on the login page. When you click the link, you'll be given instructions for resetting your password. So I'll type in our example, Fred Smith, right now. Go ahead and choose your username and password and write it down for safekeeping. And let's go ahead and click register. All right, now that your account is set up, let's look at the different features in the Mentor Portal. This is the home page. You'll see a list of all the lessons that have been assigned to you and are waiting to be reported. The first column shows the lesson ID. This is something new we've added to lessons. Each individual lesson booklet has a unique ID number that we use to track that lesson. You'll find the lesson ID on the bottom left corner of the back cover of each lesson. You can also see the name of the course and number of the lesson, the student's name, their gender, the date we sent the lesson to you, and the reporting status. The reporting status tells you if you've submitted your report for that lesson yet. After you submit a progress report, a waiting report will change to report received. If you realize you made a mistake after submitting a report, don't worry. You can still go back in and make changes for 24 hours after you submitted the original report. Let's click on a lesson ID number to report a student's progress. So after you've clicked the lesson ID number, you'll be taken to the reporting progress page. There's a brief description here of what we're looking for in your reports, but if you need more information, you can click on this link right here. All right, let's go back to the reporting page. So to report your student's progress, you'll use these drop-down menus to select an option in the areas of completion, understanding, and application. And there's also a space here where you can type any lesson-related comments, such as noting a question your student had trouble answering that you may think is a little too difficult for this particular lesson. Crossroads staff will review these notes when the time comes to update and revise courses. But if you don't have any specific comments about the lesson, you can leave the space blank. Now that you've finished filling out the form, you'll need to click the blue Submit button to send your report. This is very important because if you leave the web page without clicking Submit, your report will not be submitted to our database. Let's go ahead and click Submit. And your first lesson is reported. The My Tier 2 and Tier 3 Students tab will show you a list of your active Tier 2 and Tier 3 students, if you have any. If you only review Tier 1 lessons, you will not see a list of students here. This page will show you each student's date of birth and institution. When you click on a student's name, you'll see the student's information in more detail. This includes their full mailing address and any mailing restrictions their institution has. Next is the Hold Lessons tab. This page allows you to notify Crossroads of any time periods when you will not be able to review lessons. This includes vacations, illness, or any other reason you might need to take a short break. So in order to schedule your time off from receiving lessons, you'll select the date you need your time off to begin and the date your time off will end. 
by clicking on these calendar icons. Remember to enter the reason you're taking time off by selecting an option from this drop-down menu. If you would like, you can also include any additional information in the text box here. When you're finished, remember to click the blue Submit button so our database receives your information. We ask that you submit this information at least one week in advance. You won't receive any lessons between the dates that you entered. Anytime you've placed yourself on hold, you'll see on hold listed as your mentor status on this page during that time period. Next is edit my profile. On this page, you can update your contact information and change your password. To change your password, click on change password below security and you'll be taken to this page. Type in your old password, the new password you've chosen, and the new password again to confirm. Remember to click Change Password to save your changes. And remember, if you ever forget your password, just use the Forgot Your Password link found on the login page to reset your password. All right, let's go back to the My Profile tab. When you first set up your account, please make sure to double check all of your information here and confirm that it's correct. You can also use this page anytime you move or change any of your other personal information. Be sure to click the blue update button at the very bottom of the page to save any changes you make. The changes you submit will automatically update in our database. So below the section called your information, you can see your addresses. You can enter up to three different addresses where you want to receive lessons. In order for Crossroads to be notified of your current mailing address, use the drop down menu to choose which address your lessons will be sent to. Make sure to update this every time your address changes. Again, please remember to hit the blue update button when you're finished to save your changes to the database. So that is our new mentor portal. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about using the portal, please email us at mentor at cpministries.org or call us at 800-668-2450. Have a great day.